So tell me about the Queen Mary. There's this one room, B340. Uh, there's multiple unexplained murders and or suicides. We obviously didn't really believe in that much. And so we went in there, toured around. It was four o'clock in the morning at this time. We've been trying for hours of just sitting in circles. Like, like it's, it's fun to tell the story, let's just leave. So we turn off the camera, start packing up, start walking towards the door. And we were about to like get out of the room. The faucet turns on like full blast for four seconds and then turns back off. And we all like freeze and freak out. Two of our roommates that were there at the time like just immediately started like crying. We were like, we ran in, we were like, okay, how, how is that actually possible at all? Maybe that's a sign of like, it doesn't want to be filmed and it doesn't want us to leave. So maybe let's just not, not film this and try one more time just for, the, just for the heck of it. And so that's what we did, but this time it worked. And so we all sit in the dark together and we start calling out questions. Is there anybody here? And we hear a knock. Can you tap more than once? And there was like three taps. Like, okay, this is really weird. We were talking probably like this, but then there was times where we talked like really quiet. We tested everything. We decided let's ask questions using these taps. So we, we said, tap once for yes, tap anything more than once for no. We had a yes or no conversation for 35 minutes with something that we cannot explain. We would ask questions in different manners. Is there more than one of you? Yes. And then we'd say, are you alone? And we'd say no. Back and forth trying to get this thing and this, the story kept straight the entire time. Let's like ask a question under our breath. This, this thing does not want us to leave. And at that moment, the entire floor shook. We were all like, oh my God, what was that? Something was huge. And so we're like, okay, so this thing doesn't want us to leave. Maybe we should just like ask questions under our breath for the rest of the time, just so we know it's not some employee, it's not someone like screwing with us the entire time. At this point, we really believe if this is truly something, I want to know something deeper than just yes or no questions. Let's ask about religion. And I ask out, is there a heaven? And it knocks three times, meaning no. And at that point, our two religious friends that were there like immediately jumped up and said, we have to leave right now. Just don't look back, let's go, let's leave. And so we walked out, we left, we got all the way to the car without anyone saying anything. And as soon as we got in the car, we're like, what's going on? In the Christian religion, anything like demonic or evil is supposed to basically disprove that there is a heaven. We think it was something that was trying to lead you away from heaven or yeah, Christianity. Demonic territory type thing. 